Well, hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 19. Good to have everybody back here today, and uh, we're going to get busy because we've got lots to do. We're going to start with a little bit of windrowing. Now, I bought the equipment, or bought, brought, sorry, the equipment home that we purchased the other day. There's our windrower. There's our beller. Yes, indeed. Now, um, I mentioned that I was having issues with the controller, which, oddly enough, um, both the Steam Forum and Giant's Official Forum seem to think that I'm not the only one. In fact, it is a major bone of contention amongst many, many people. Now, currently, I'm doing this with my Xbox 360 controller. It functions flawlessly. I need to set up the dead zones a little bit. As you can see, there's some drift, <laughs> especially side to side. Um, yeah, I kind of I was setting them up, and I think I got that one perfect, the forward and back. But yeah, I still need to adjust the side to side a bit. Um, I disconnected my HOTUS, and immediately the controller's fine. It's not a matter of it doesn't accept 360 controllers and I need an Xbox controller. It's not a matter of going in and deconfiguring everything on the HOTUS because, as again is stated on both Giants Forum and the Steam Forums, people that have done that have found the next time they light up the game, it's all back. And it's, you know, not a quick thing to... Uh, uh, I think it's this one, yes. It's not a quick thing to go through and unbind every key. There's no unbind all, there's no deselect. You have to individually go key by key. Yeah. So, at any rate, as I say, we seem to be working fine once I disconnected it. Now that's a big pain in the butt. What I find is really funny is the only suggestion I didn't get through all that was that giants fix their bloody software. <laughs> you know, um, I mean, my HOTUS is recognized in Farm Sim 17. My gamepad is recognized. My mouse and keyboard are recognized. They do not interfere with each other. If I pick to run it with the HOTAS, it only runs those, right? Gamepad, only gamepad. So, this is just something that hasn't yet, I guess, uh, made it into Giant's... Uh, Giants game. Ooh. Okay, I was... Don't need to zoom out quite that far. Uh, Alright, so let's see how we do here, shall we? Oh, I picked up one of these uh, pallets of goodies here and moved it over. And uh, it's kind of funny. You, uh, Unlike before, where it simply would tell you it's too heavy to lift, if you try and get to something that's too big... Okay, notice nothing happened there. Whereas this guy, that's only got a little bit left in it, I immediately get the hand object, right? So yeah, if it's light enough for you to pick up, you'll get the hand. Seems to be the way they've done it. And that's, that's good. Now we need somebody to come up with a game extension mod so I can pick up the heavy ones too. <laughs> I got spoiled. Alright, how shall we unfold you? Oh. I have no idea how big this thing's going to be. Maybe I need to get away from there. Ooh. Oh, alright, so it does that. Oh, I see how this one works. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Oh. So that lowers it. Oh, you don't actually turn it on? Oh, I see. It's, um... Mechanically driven, somehow. I guess just the action of going across the ground. Here we go. Well, that's certainly different. Huh. Certainly different. Neat. You can see I'm getting quite a bit of drift. I do need to set up the, uh, as I say. OK. 
Okay, let's lift it. Don't really want to drive on Buddy's field. Oops. <laughs> drop her back down. Oops. Kind of displaced that little bit on the edge there. Alrighty. Oh, it's got two more at the front, eh? Check that out. Interesting. What a bizarre machine. What a bizarre machine. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, it's not quite going to turn sharp enough for me, is it? Lift it up. Ooh, we just need it. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a little bit different beastie to use than the normal one. That's for sure. Uh, I'm going to have to put a headland there. Let's get you up off the ground. All right. I think I might have got a little over exuberant cutting that close to the edge. Uh oh. Alright. I must say, I do like the way it controls a lot better using the controller. So. And, and please don't mistake that I don't appreciate all of the uh, help and advice given. I certainly do, guys. And uh, would never discourage you to do less, believe me. But, luckily, as I said, as it turns out, it's uh, pretty much what I figured. It's just giants needing to get there. Well starts with S and it's a hit with everyone uh, together <laughs> let's just put it that way shall we so the other thing as far as the uh, multiplayer server and my little vlog the other day. I do really appreciate all of the feedback, guys. And it seems it was fairly popular consensus to uh, just hold off on the multiplayer for the moment. And uh, get that card equipped so I can at least get some decent video out there. Um, I'm say, I'm having a having little bit of issues getting this thing to run smoothly. So... That's uh, an issue that's only going to become, uh, you know, exasperated as the uh, gaming market gets more complex. And as I stated, the uh, odds that I'll be able to actually do anything as incredible as upgrade a GPU, <laughs> yeah, not likely. Um, just replacing my current card with my current card would cost more than I could manage. <laughs> so, yeah. Trying to actually upgrade? No. I know the price has come down massively lately, but still. Not, uh, 
not into this sort of an area, let me tell you. All right, let's uh, go over to our other little section of grass. See how we do. I don't know if this would be my favorite windrower. Although, again, I guess I should give it a chance, see if we can't get used to this particular style. I mean, it's a nice machine, that's for sure. It wasn't terribly expensive for its size. It's a little awkwardly wide. I've uh, clipped a couple of cars now, and uh, let me tell you, they are not soft. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, man. Alrighty. And away we go. There's quite a few mods starting to hit the scenes. Um, not only what's on Giant's own uh, mod hub, but, uh, oops, I see, for instance, uh, a well-known modder, Stevie, has put out a couple of really nice-looking tractors, uh, I believe a couple of big fans, you know. So, yeah, it's, uh, the scene is underway, which is great news, of course, for all of us that play this game. It's what uh, keeps it alive for the uh, amount of time that it does go, so... It's kind of odd, eh? It would let me mow this, but it would not let me rake it. I guess the rake stuck out just a little too far for it to go. No, no. You're out of bounds, fella. So, there you go. Apparently I was out of bounds. Yeah, I think one more dead zone to set up here on this controller and it'll be just fine. Everything else seems to function through it. You know, I changed it so that the help menu would come from the controller and not the mouse and keyboard. That functions flawlessly, which is nice to see. Um, yeah. And keep in mind, when I first set this up, no matter what, if that was set to gamepad, yeah, the, you couldn't make out what was going on. It would switch constantly between keyboard, gamepad, keyboard, gamepad, keyboard, gamepad. Again, once I unplugged my HOTUS, it seems that 90% of the issues went away. Even though, oddly enough, the game was trying to recognize the HOTUS as the main controller. Whereas, even in Windows' own controller settings, I have the 360 pad set to be the one that games recognize, so, you know, but I do figure that, um, you know, I tend to use, uh, well, tend to, I will be using the, th the game pad every single day because I make a farm sim video every single day, whereas I use the HODAS when I need to use the HODAS, you know, there are games like, uh, Frontier Pilot Simulator and such that, obviously, I am using that for. And when I light those up, then uh, I guess I will plug those back in. The inconvenience, of course, is that my computer is located under my desk, so I do literally have to crawl on the floor to uh, plug things in and out from the back. Uh, yeah. Let's... Uh, up the hill. Uh, that should do it. Oop, I didn't mean to fold it, I meant to drop it down. There we go. And away we go. I love the way it's pu the way it's pushing those out of the way as it goes by, or pulling it towards them, as the case may be. At least it's not ripping them out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be appreciated. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. Weird, eh? It actually zigzagged around the little bits of grass. That is strange. Huh. Or again, maybe it was a function of uh, 
Uh, no, that's right in the middle. Anywhere there was actually grass, it's not adding it to the pile. Although it appears to. Interesting. Uh, so, at any rate, it did seem the... Uh, yeah, I know, there I go. Completely forgetting one topic. Um, it did seem that the consensus was just for the moment, you know, grab the uh, the capture card so we can get some decent video going. So I think what I will do is uh, exactly that. The card is ordered, and uh, when it comes, I'm going to uh, install that, and I'm also going to rearrange my computer a little bit. I think I'm going to. Uh, figure out a way to once again rebuild my desktop so that not only the two monitors and you know the other peripherals that are needed will fit but I think I'm also going to try and move my computer up to where it's a little more convenient for me to uh, plug and unplug things like the HOTUS so yeah okay we're doing pretty good here I guess what I'm going to have to do is uh, take my trailer to the shop and reconfigure it as a bale trailer. It's unfortunate you can't do it on the fly like you can with a mod. You know, you walk up to the sides and go, be a male at bale trailer, or, you know, one of those sort of things. But no, it doesn't seem to be the case. All right. Um, Look at all the birds pecking away in the cut grass, eh? <laughs> Caw -caw! And again, row crop tires, raw, raw. thing to drag around though. <laughs> Alright. Let's drop you down. You're gonna make a little bit of mess on the edge, but that's okay. Look out, birdies coming through. Obviously not as easy to do as a nice rectangular meadow would have been, but we get our grass where we can. do her once we get this one out. Ooh. We're just gonna fit through here, aren't we? Eek. That's alright. That's alright. Let's get as much of it as we can. Yeah, well, <laughs> it could be a couple of slightly messy spots, but that's okay. We can live with that. We can, indeed. All right. Uh, she's not all going to quite come here either, is it? No. Man. Ah, well, we'll get what we can get. Excellent. Well, let's get this guy back and grab the baler. So we still got 422k left, eh? Well, well, well. well. Alrighty. 
well, we know what's next. Let's try some daily. Ah, it's that one. Almost forgot how to change views. There we go. Alrighty. Let's have a look. Let's unfold. Alrighty. Let's lower the pickup. Oh, let's turn this puppy on. Alrighty. Not sure where it disappears to under there, but oh well. We'll grab. Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, come on, cut tighter. There we go. Yeah, we can see the baler filling up down there. 340, 350. Awesome. 350. <laughs> Unload with Y. Awesome. Alright, let's get out and have a look at this bale, shall we? Ooh, looks pretty good. Oh, it's giving me the hand. No object too heavy. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, so much for my theory that it wouldn't give you... Uh, hmm. So I wonder why only some of those showed up. Interesting. Oh, well. I'm not even going to make a guess. Because odds are I'm wrong. Alright, here we go. I did close that, did I not? Yes! Let's go to an outside, see how she looks. Wow. This throws up a lot of dust, eh? Man. I don't recall that from uh, FS17, to be honest with you. Oops, I missed a chunk. It's okay. Whee! Whoa, now there's a hill. Oop! Oh. <laughs> hip, hip! There we go. Hmm. Not bad. You see all the different rolls moving and such? Very cool. Those are back up. Oh yeah, not bad, there's some good animations on it, I'll give it that. Definitely some good animations. Cool. 
Get away. <laughs> Not quite. Fuck you out of there. Boop. Bounces up pretty high. <laughs> but then I guess that's a lot of weight coming off the back end, so you'd expect it. Very good. Very, very good. They did a nice job with fading the volume, too, as you get a little further from it and outside view. Nice. It's just not going to be a good enough angle. <laughs> I do find it a little bit awkward to turn this baler. When you're backing up, it's got a very sharp pivot. So if you start turning even slightly, you can... Oh, ooh, what are we doing here? Oh, it's full. Jeez. I didn't realize I was that close. Go. Oops. Oh, good. I was worried my baler was going to uh, crunch a few of those. Glad it didn't. Zoink. Okay. Let's uh, do that. Head over to the other side. I'll drop it off. And then I'm going to test something I have anxiously been waiting to test. For, uh, well. Since before the release. Oh, oops. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. We're okay. Alrighty. Hopefully that's far enough off the road that people aren't going to slam into it. Now, uh, I think I'm probably going to require a wait. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's a pallet fork. That's right. Hmm. So, let's, uh... Let's head down to the shop and get the other things we need. We need a bale fork. Oops. Yeah, that takes it. We're the ones that hit our baylor. <laughs> All right, so a bale fork, and we'll have a look at what uh, what to do with trailers. Whether it's going to be better for me to just simply whoa, then nice and curves there, right? Eh? Or curbs, I should say. All right. There we go. La, 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 la. Let's head over.
Okay, now we need front loaders, small tractors, trucks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, hmm. Oh, there it is, front loaders. No. Oh, right. We need to be here. Okay. New no problem. Oh, I want to have a look at trailers. Okay. Um. So it's 8K if we wanted a second one of those. Uh, this guy. Now, capacity. Bale loading wagon. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not bad. Really? For 8K? Huh. Sure. I think that's what we'll do. We're just gonna buy a second trailer. Hmm. There we go. Oh, we also need, uh... <laughs> uh, okay. Where would I find you? Hmm? Here we are, front loaders. And... Yes, there we are, a spike. We need a spike. And, yeah, color's fine, I don't care. Alright. Good to go. There's our spike. There's our trailer. Hmm. Now, uh, what about a rear weight? What about a rear weight? I assume the weights are still going to have trailer hitches in them. Hmm. So, uh, weights, there we go, 650 kilo, 700 kilo, 900, 1000, hmm, I think we'll go for this guy. Okay. Alrighty. Go. Oh, I see we're running a little long in the episode here, so. I think what I'll do is I'll load up our equipment, and we will get on to our bailing the next time around. So, here we go. Alrighty. And, oh, the weight's turned around the other way. That's... Oh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's the right way around, it's... I just want to put it on the other end of the tractor. Okay, a little more, a little more. Come on, buddy. There you go. <coughs> okay. Looks good. Now, are you going to allow me to pick up the trailer? Should do. Yep, that's what I thought. Very nice, and we're good to go. And with that, guys, I am going to uh, call the episode, I think. Thanks again for all your support, all of your help, of, well, with the, uh, the little issue with whether to go for this card or get the server. And, uh, as I say, I am going to put that card in, get 
computer all straightened up and uh, well I think as a Christmas present I'm gonna give all of my viewers subscribers and patreon folks a fine multiplayer server to play on so there you go hope you enjoyed the episode I gotta set up that dead zone before I hit a car <laughs> Till next time, guys, this has been Species 7 for Farm Sim 19. Take care of each other. Oh, I, I, hang on. Let, let's... I gotta at least pick up a bale, okay? And, and then we'll, we'll call her. Just because, okay? Just because. I, I just want to see what the physics are like. Okay, Mr. Bale. speed give her some wiggle all right hey that's not bad that's not bad I mean it didn't go flinging off because we did abusive silly things to it which I did going up over every bumpy to dump I could find Alrighty, let's see here. Now, we don't want to see the trailer come flying up. Oops. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. It actually slid off it. Nice. Oh, put a little more pressure on, maybe. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Huh. Come on, baby. Okay, lower it down. There we go. Up a bit, I guess. Okay, yeah, I just needed to uh, give the forks a bit of a tweak. Oops, I think I just lowered my rear weight, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Alrighty. So there you go. Bale Physics, Farm Sim, 19. Too heavy. Oh. And the straps are not really in a great place. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. We'll get the rest of these bales picked up next time around. There you go. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.